When we picture dinosaurs, what do we often imagine? Massive creatures stomping through lush jungles, roaring with unrestrained power. The image is usually grandiose and exaggerated, shaped by pop culture and films like Jurassic Park. However, what were dinosaurs really like? What did their lives look like beyond the hype? And how did they truly behave? The truth is, dinosaurs were a lot more diverse and complex than we often give them credit for. They were more than just giant lizards roaming around and fighting one another. In fact, they came in all shapes, sizes, and behaviors each uniquely adapted to their environments. Let's break down what we actually know about dinosaurs and explore the reality of their lives, from their flesh and bone structure to their daily existence. The reality of their size. Not all were giants. Many of us assume that all dinosaurs were enormous, towering creatures that ruled the Earth with brute strength. But in reality, the majority of dinosaurs were relatively small. In fact, more than half of all dinosaur species were smaller than a human. Take Compsognathus, for example. This little dinosaur was barely over three feet long and weighed only around six pounds, about the size of a modern-day turkey. These dinosaurs were fast, lightweight, and likely insectivores darting around and snatching up bugs or small vertebrates. While Tyrannosaurus rex and Brachiosaurus steal the limelight, the truth is that most dinosaurs were smaller creatures, carefully adapted to their niche environments. Some were the size of dogs, others the size of birds, and many were intelligent hunters, hunting in packs or even working together to bring down larger prey. The structure of their bodies, a blend of strength and grace. Contrary to the often exaggerated depiction of dinosaurs as slow-moving giants, many species were built for speed, agility, and precision. While some did indeed move slowly, like the lumbering sauropods, Others, like the Velociraptor, were lightning fast and highly agile. The Velociraptor, often portrayed as a mindless killer in popular media, was actually an intelligent pack-hunting predator. It likely hunted in groups, communicating and coordinating its attacks. These dinosaurs were lightweight, with a sleek body built for speed and precision. Their sickle-shaped claws were perfect for slashing at prey, and their long, stiff tails helped them balance as they sprinted through the prehistoric landscape. On the other hand, dinosaurs like Stegosaurus and Triceratops were designed for defense. The Stegosaurus, with its massive plates and spikes, used its body armor to protect itself from predators. The Triceratops, with its three horns and protective frill, could fend off attacks from carnivores like Tyrannosaurus rex. Dinosaurs were built with a variety of traits suited to their environments, whether it was for defense, speed, or predation. These structures weren't just for show. They played crucial roles in survival and adaptation. How they moved, speed, agility, and the truth about T-Rex. One of the most common misconceptions about dinosaurs is the way they moved. Take the famous Tyrannosaurus rex, for example. Despite its massive size and tiny arms, many scientists now believe that T. rex was much faster than previously thought. It wasn't just the lumbering, slow-moving behemoth often portrayed in movies. New research suggests it could run at speeds of up to 20 to 25 miles per hour, faster than many other animals of its time. But that's not to say that all dinosaurs were built for speed. 
Some, like the giant sauropods, were slow-moving giants, relying more on their massive size and long necks to reach food and defend against predators. The Brachiosaurus, for example, was capable of reaching high tree branches, feeding on vegetation that most herbivores couldn't access. But when it came to avoiding predators, these massive creatures likely moved very slowly, making them prime targets for the more agile carnivores. Diet and feeding habits. The real predators and plant eaters. We often think of carnivorous dinosaurs like T. rex as vicious predators, hunting down their prey with unstoppable force. And yes, T. rex was a formidable hunter, but its diet wasn't just about hunting large prey. Recent studies suggest that T. rex may have also scavenged, picking at the carcasses of dead animals when it had the chance, much like modern-day scavengers like vultures. Similarly, not all herbivorous dinosaurs were passive, docile creatures grazing on grass all day. Many had to defend themselves from the fierce carnivores that roamed the land. Take the Ankylosaurus, a heavily armored herbivore with a club-like tail. This dinosaur had the perfect defense mechanism, capable of fending off even the most ferocious predators with a swing of its tail. While most herbivorous dinosaurs were probably slow and gentle, some of the plant-eating dinosaurs were actively defended. The Triceratops, for example, had three horns and a massive frill to protect its neck and head, making it a formidable opponent for predators. Social behavior, the herds, packs, and parenting. Dinosaurs were not all lone hunters or solitary grazers. Many species exhibited complex social behavior, hunting in packs or living in herds to improve their chances of survival. For example, Protoceratops, a herbivorous dinosaur, likely lived in herds, offering protection to one another from predators like Velociraptors. Carnivorous dinosaurs like Velociraptor were believed to have hunted in packs working together to take down larger prey. Their social structure, while speculative, is supported by evidence of fossils found together in tight groups, indicating that they may have coordinated attacks much like modern-day wolves. Interestingly, many herbivorous dinosaurs also displayed social behavior. Evidence shows that herbivores like hadrosaurids, duck-billed dinosaurs, likely moved in large herds for protection, with some even migrating over long distances to find new feeding grounds. Some may have even cared for their young in a manner similar to modern-day birds. The Truth About the Extinction – A Cataclysmic End Despite the many variations of size, shape, and behavior among dinosaurs, their reign came to a cataclysmic end. Theories about the cause of their extinction often focus on the massive asteroid impact that struck Earth around 66 million years ago. But scientists are still piecing together the full picture. This asteroid likely triggered massive climate changes, including wildfires, earthquakes, and a global winter, all of which would have drastically altered the planet's ecosystems. But not all dinosaurs perished in the same way. While the majority were wiped out, some survivors likely evolved into the birds we know today. In fact, birds are the direct descendants of theropod dinosaurs, and in many ways, they are the only living link to the incredible variety of dinosaur life that once roamed the Earth Conclusion, the reality of dinosaurs was far from simple. So, what were dinosaurs really like? They were not just mindless giants or simple predators and prey. Dinosaurs were incredibly diverse creatures, each adapted to their specific environments in fascinating ways. From giant herbivores to tiny, agile predators, 
From complex social structures to unique feeding behaviors, dinosaurs were far more than what we've been led to believe. Their world was a harsh one, but one that allowed for incredible diversity and evolution. They weren't the simple, overhyped creatures of Hollywood. They were survivors, built to adapt, hunt, and thrive in an ever-changing world. Incredible creatures that walked Earth millions of years ago, and their story continues to fascinate us today. If you want to learn more about the incredible diversity of creatures that roamed the Earth, check this video here.